you're looking at right now are a bunch of studs from an old Washington DC row house dating back to the 1800s. Except for this stud right here from a hospital in Massachusetts dating back to the 90s. It's hard for the interruption. But hey, Paul, how'd you get those rows to print out and use on the CNC? Well, if you're interested in all the excruciating details of how I did that, I made a second video that you can watch after this one. It shows you how you can make that into a printable format or use it on the CNC. But for now, I'm just gonna give you a very quick summary so you can figure out how we got here. The method I used is a combination with OpenStreetMaps and Adobe Illustrator. The second method uses free open source software, albeit with less detail. So you start in OpenStreetMaps by finding the area that you're interested in. You export this into a PDF, which saves as a vector file. This can then be imported into Adobe Illustrator, cleaned up a little bit to make it easier to work with, and then you copy your roads, border, and water into their own layers. Then with all of the cleaned up data I trimmed outside the border of the city, exported the streets and water as two separate SVG files, and then imported these into Easel for two separate toolpaths. And that is where we are now. Let's get back to the build.
Hey guys, thanks for checking out this build. And a shout out to Inventables, creator of the X-Carve, for making this video possible. Now, as much as I hate to admit it, the J-Carve definitely lost out this time on this project. I wouldn't have been able to complete this build without the X-Carve. But that there is precisely my goal with the CNC, to make larger form, Jackman-sized projects that wouldn't be possible without it. I'll drop some links down below so you can learn more about this machine. It's a very affordable and fairly minimal machine that still has some really cool features like the two-stage V-bit carving that you saw on this project. And when popping out projects like this, you can pay for it in no time. But a few details about the project itself. The road pattern was cut on the CNC, painted black, and then I cut out the water before I poured in a two-part epoxy resin. This was then all sanded flush to reveal the road map of Washington, D.C. For full details on how I was able to pull in the street map data to use on the CNC, check out the separate video that I made specifically on that process. But I think that is all for this one. Thank you to Inventables for making this project possible, my patrons for their support, and Steve Eiserman for that Stanley Cup back in 2002.